Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Here I'm going to talk and compare the different CSS frameworks for 2022. And you might be wondering which one to use for your next project or for 2022. So I will be comparing these frameworks based on some factors like their structure, their customization level, difficulty level, and community support. So basically, now we have two types of CSS frameworks. The first one is component-based CSS frameworks. For example, we have Bootstrap, which is component-based. We have Semantic UI, which is component-based. We have Bulma, we have Materialized CSS, and we have Foundation. These are all component based and only one utility first CSS framework we have, which is Tailwind CSS. And the difference is that the component based CSS frameworks are having pre built components by using those components, by utilizing the, the classes of those components, we can build our UI. And in utility first CSS, we have bundle of classes hundreds and thousands of classes and by using those classes we can design various types of uh, components so when you use component based CSS framework all your designed websites or pages might somehow look alike but when you use uh, utility first or utility based uh, frameworks your designs will always differ and your designs uh, will come in varieties but there are many other differences as well for example uh, in component based when you use bootstrap it is very easy to learn and easy to use and it has a large community support again in component based uh, frameworks you have semantic ui uh, which is having like different styles from the bootstrap the difficulty level is medium it is a bit difficult than bootstrap and some other component based frameworks and again in the component based you have the bulma which is having quite good uh, buttons or navigations or other components and you have the same way you have materialized css uh, which is not much uh, like uh, comparable to others but again you have foundation which claims that most of the famous brands like adobe like samsung like amazon like hp like cisco are using this foundation so you have this component based as well and you have this utility first framework as well so when you use this utility first mm, it is uh, somehow difficult but it is uh, highly customizable you can highly customize your website and if you come to the community support bootstrap has the most community support then uh, which is a uh, component based then we then the second position goes to the Telvin css uh, it is new that's why it is somehow less the community support but as we go on uh, we will see that in the recent years uh, Telvin CSS will grow because it is utility first and then we have semantic UI after the Telvin in community support and after the Bulma then we have materialized then we have the foundation okay so uh, according to me uh, I like uh, the Telvin CSS gets the per first position after that the bootstrap after that the semantic ui and i'll uh, i don't use usually the bulma the materialize or the foundation i like this three when the telvin the semantic and the uh, bootstrap so for the beginners because community support matters so they should start with bootstrap but if you know bootstrap if you know semantic ui then you have to use Tailwind CSS because it can give you uh, as many design as you want and always the designs will be different so if you want uh, component best but some cool designs and styles so you can use semantic UI definitely the semantic uh, UI's design is better than the bootstrap but its difficulty level is a bit higher 
and so uh, you can choose this one of these frameworks based on your skills if you're a beginner choose bootstrap semantic ui or any other component best which are easy to learn and if you are uh, somehow experienced so you can go and start with the tailwind css i uh, hope you have gotten something from this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and share this with your friends thank you very much